hey guys welcome back to my channel hope everybody is doing good so guys let's jump straight into this video and tonight guys we're going to talk about marcia and antidana saga yes guys antidana came out and she jumped out asking and she addressed marcia like a tiger yes she come out and she was very direct and she surely did roar so guys of course you know it's been the thing for people on social media for just you know the for anti back like us you know then there's a for anti back like a scorpion a lot of them and it seems that auntie dana has gotten enough and she finally finally spoke out yes guys she came out and she spoke a piece of her mind and she called names usually auntie dana would you know when she gonna address certain things because of her platform she just don't she don't usually call people names. she just like show her little shades and you know show her word i you know the thing go already because you try you know keep your platform as clean as you possibly can even when the people don't talk up with things them and it bone you, you just don't want to mess up your hands of your platform so you don't call her names anyway guys today she had it to her neck and she came out and she addressed marcia in particular she called a couple other names just to make reference she called shanty name she called what that one name again she called Chris, she referred to Chris as well. And she also called she also called Maxine name, of course. Yes, she said Maxine is one of the truest one them on social media because when she and Maxine it have them little runnings, she know why she think Maxine are clean towards her. But you know, certain things that we keep for more total we know as well because when we don't know the full story, in a minute since we talk on it. She and Maxine she said have them little history then call them one another and Maxine call her same way, yell her up high and by and that's it. No, we're not gonna knock her because until then have a very forgiving heart and at the end of the day we can tell a grown person who to talk to and who not to talk to who to acquaint herself with and who not to acquaint herself with however marcia has been showing shade you know she's been saying things here and there for the past couple weeks in regards to auntie dana and it seems like auntie dana have been ignoring and ignoring and ignoring and of course it looked like she have it to her head now she come out and she responded yesterday and she was very direct one of the topics that she talked about was the 200 dollar or the 200 plus dollar that marcia had gift her to go on a trip when she just started the charity yes she talked about it because she said marcia had told her not to mention it when she got it but until then i did come on her life because i did remember that she did come on her life and she did talk about it and she did take some while some time before she actually go to the hotel and spend the night and she did say that she ended up had to put more money on it because it wasn't really enough for a weekend or a night at the hotel that she went so she had to make it up i think it was 200 or 200 and marcia said anyway until then i return the money with lots of interest because she returned five hundred dollar she zelled marcia five hundred dollar to our cash up to our zell our cash up so you know say but until then answer right they says that you can have your money back since you're going to talk about it or make reference to it every time you talk about me because until then i came to her life and she said that she don't want nobody to have anything over her and for, for the rest of the case, she's going to send back that money because it's, she didn't ask for it and it was given to her as a gift. But since people are asking back for it or I make mention of it, she's going to just send it back. And so said, so done with interest. Now guys, Marcia is saying that she likes Auntie Donna. She likes her and what she say is, is that Auntie Donna must say, the way all donors love Auntie Dana, she knows that Auntie Dana I get money from donors for help up on her house by either some, either some cement or some block or some whatever. And Auntie Dana did not like that because Auntie Dana make it clear that she now get no money from any donors to build her house. She's not. Her money come from her baking season, her shirt, her shoe slippers line, her cake are pudding and you know all of the things them and auntie dana brand is very big and she does make money it's obvious even her youtube bringing a great income so she's making it known clear that she have 
oh guys how can we forget her endorsement she have a lot of big company who she's working for so obviously she has money so she's making it clear that charity money is not building her, her house and the fact that marcia mentioned to that in regards to you know money from charity going to her house she never liked that marcia also said a couple other things as it regards to charity saying that it's charity put antenna in our shit day and before charity she never do have nothing and she also say that auntie then never go to a hotel before which i found um, she, that that's not true because auntie then work for sanders and work for butch butch stewart and all of the, the, the yeah the big man there yes and she always said funny like that she always get hotel pass and all type of things that she never use she have them and she get them because she just never have time for go sit down in a hotel she always have be a car or fry up or cook up and a cell and them things there so when marcia came out and said that auntie dana never got hotel yet and i share the first person who make auntie dana no hotel that was uncalled for because Auntie Dana must go out to find the day she born. Auntie Dana was 40 plus now. But you know, guys, when people in them tongue and teeth and tongue meat, people will say anything. People will say anything when they are upset. So that's what Marcia said. And when Auntie Dana hear all of what's being said, she just couldn't take it no more because she basically said that a long time. She had heard the shades, but she don't say nothing. People send her the shades. And she don't say anything at all. She also said that Marcia sent her couple voice notes and couple messages. And she have not been answering because she noticed that Marcia was not for her. Yeah, she said she noticed that Marcia never for her. She even went back to when she did the play, the little play where she did go in out with Audrey, Dancer Queen and them. Yes, and Marcia had came out and do a review on it. And so forth it wasn't a good review to be honest and auntie dana never liked that too much she talked about it today as well and say from them time there she noticed something wrong something off but she still was not listening to nobody she said planka or plankas they want her other people want her about her and she decided for you know follow her own gut you know you know auntie dana not listen to people so see it you know she says she has seed for herself even with the church incident guys there was an incident before where marcia had come to jamaica and she had donated offering to a church she had given offering to a church and the church must have gave it back to her and said they didn't want the money they didn't want her money and marcia was very upset about it i think she even cried about it because you know that's a shame for you to be donating you know you come out you make your dear business and you say okay my first sale i'm going to create an offering and ask god to multiply it in you know, my business and so forth and the pastor or the church people them turn back the money and say they don't want it yes and and then i did come out and you know cause the church people the man said this and said that you know she did defend marcia to be honest she came out and she spoke in marcia defense and the next day, Auntie Nana said the church lady call her and give it to her and did tell her, say, them not take the money because this and because that, you know, they said they not take the money because the person where I give the money, no good and, you know, them the good things there. Eh? So Auntie Nana said, hmm, maybe the church people them did know the attacks and eh? maybe they did true the attacks eh? because they did tell her that that same person going to turn on and bite her. So Auntie Dana is saying, so said, so done, because see, the church woman word come to pass. Yes, guys, there's a big incident where Marcy had went to Jamaica and she had sold from her shop and then she got donate the money to the church as offering and so, and the pastor gave it back to her. Uh, and, you know, nobody couldn't understand why the pastor did that. And I still think what that was wrong, even no matter what the pastor see or whatnot, I think you could have used the money to bless somebody else use the money to bless uh, a needy person or something if they don't want it in the church but that was what happened and auntie dana did came on our live and rebuke it and talk about it and you know defend defend marcia in that aspect she also talked about the fact that 
Marcia had given her an ultimatum that anyhow she continued speaking to Dr. Love, then she, uh, Marcia never ever talked to she no more. Marcia was gonna, you know, don't talk to Dana if Dana still talked to, to Dr. Love. And Auntie Dana said numerous times she called Dr. Love and asked Dr. Love to ease up for Marcia and give Marcia a break. But Dr. Love tell her if you leave him alone and you know, take her nose out of him and Marcia business because this and because that. So Auntie Dana say she asked Dr. Love to please leave Marcia alone, see him way. But Marcia, Dr. Love insisted in not leave her. So she, Auntie Dana was saying to on the live that she cannot control anybody in social media and she cannot control Dr. Love and she cannot control anybody in social media and their phones. So what's your name? Marcia cannot have her up for that and I say this and I say that because at the end of the day everybody had them own big people in their social media anyways guys and then I was so furious she said you know what anybody who have proof that them send money come give her for fun for the building of her house they must send it out come give her and she will post it and she going to give her one million dollar yes guys in the ear right she going to give her one million dollar to the person who can come out and say, you, give me, me, give you money for Billy out. Me give money for buy the cement, the block, and the gravel. <laughs> me just a call some, you know, stuff for Bill out. She never exactly said that, but, you know, me just a call out because stuff for, you know, Bill out, like cement and them things. That anybody who can come out and show proof to them do that, she will give them 10,000 US dollar. Yes, that come out to a water mill. So guys with that said curly put up one statement there after she skipped back the money and it reads all right guys i'm not gonna read it but it basically was saying that she has said the money where she gave auntie dana figure the hotel as she opened gate to auntie dana and as that at the first hotel Auntie Dana ever go. And she thanking Auntie Dana for returning the seed that she planted in her Auntie Dana life three years ago. Mm -hmm. And she was saying that Auntie Dana was excited to get it and so forth and so sad. Yes, so she is saying that Auntie Dana is classless. She said, what you are going to walk around and to give back everybody their gift. You are behaving a certain way and they don't like it classless i thought being around established people would make you compose yourself in a better manner but fame get to your head that is what she's saying about auntie dana and of course the long paragraphs did say more but i'm not gonna elaborate on that maybe in another video and auntie dana send back the five thousand dollar five hundred dollar to her and that was that and auntie dana wrap it up there but guys why I never see this coming because honestly Auntie Dana was always defending Marcia. Auntie Dana, no matter what nobody tell her, she was always defending Marcia. And I always believe that you know what? The two of them are friends are acquaintances are social media, um a quick co workers are acquaintances. Let them hash out them business cause the two of them probably, you know, see them each other in a one another cause Marcia can be speak her mind and Auntie Dana speak her mind. They're both two outspoken women. So at the end of the day, maybe it's just the personalities they're clashing. But with all said and done, it come out like this and it ends like this. Hopefully in the future, then we see each other and see eye to eye and find out and try to figure out where it go wrong. Because people are saying that Marcia are bad mind Auntie Dana and I don't know because sometimes people quick to talk about bad mind and maybe sometimes it's deeper than just bad mind maybe it's something else we don't know but with no further ado guys let's hope they hash it out sooner or later on a press up on yourself stay safe and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you can bye